hope this video finds you well. I wanted to do a short talk on Jesus' connection with Adam. And I don't know if you've ever thought about the connection between Jesus and Adam as kind of a fundamental starting point in terms of understanding what's going on in the Bible. But if you ask yourself the question, how, how is Jesus connected? How is the Jesus narrative uh, connected to um, the description of Adam in the Bible? And when you ask that question, there are a lot of ways that the two are connected. Uh, in Romans uh, 5, uh, they're presented as heads of groups of people. Um, in 1 Corinthians 15, it calls Jesus uh, the last Adam. Um, when you think about uh, the two stories, one man comes naked to a tree and in a momentary act of disobedience, he spiritually murders the entire human race. And he did that because his wife wanted to be God and to fix it, God became man. God lived under his own law and never sinned once in thought, word, or deed. And then by being murdered, he unmurders all those who would ever come to him by faith. And so there's a connection. And uh, when you look at this story, the connection is be, goes beyond just, uh, you know, overarching kind of, uh, you could argue, a macro typology. Um, it's actually down to the words. And so when you... Um, uh, come, you know, the Lord God formed Ha'adam, the Adam, uh, as dust from the earth. Well, that's picked up in 1 Corinthians uh, 15 as a contrast to the man from heaven. Uh, Jesus does that same thing in John 3. The person who's from dirt uh, speaks, you know, earthly things. The one from heaven uh, uh, is the contrast. So you've got the dirt man and the God man. The dirt man fails at everything. The God man never failed at anything. Um, it's interesting, um, uh, you know, it talks about, uh, and uh, the Lord God breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. Um, a really interesting word when you look at the Septuagint, um, th this word, uh, emphusao, um, and if we do a basic uh, Bible search for that word, um, uh, you'll see that it appears um, in, oh, I think I searched for the form I wanted to, uh, search for this, I think. Um, um, it appears in uh, Ezekiel 37 when, you know, God has Ezekiel preach to uh, dead people and then um, God emphasizes um, and brings that dead army back to life. Um, it's interesting if we do that same word, um, uh, in terms of the whole Bible um, and look at the New Testament, Jesus does that same thing. He emphasizes his disciples uh, on the day that he rose from the dead. Um, you know, you think about uh, when God, um, uh, you know, puts the river in Eden. Of course, that's picked up. Psalm, uh, what is it, 46, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God. Uh, picking up the Ezekiel, uh, what is it, 47 uh, passage. And then also in the New Testament, uh, uh, heavenly Jerusalem has the rivers. Um, God uh, puts the man in the garden, uh, shows him that he's alone, helps him see that by having him name the animals. And then uh, it says, so the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall. And um, 
that's a really interesting uh, word um, in 21, uh, a tardema. Uh, this is going to be that same word um, uh, used of uh, Abraham when he can't, you know, stay awake any longer. He falls into a tardema. And so God enters the covenant and he's doing... Uh, doing all of it uh, while um, Abraham is uh, completely asleep. And perhaps this is uh, foreshadowing the ultimate uh, deep sleep of death. And uh, Christ uh, fell into the ultimate Tardema. And out of that, uh, you know, we're told that uh, he wounds the man, you know, in his side. And if we're, you know, um, looking at the Septuagint, uh, I think it uses the word uh, plura, uh, one of his uh, plura wounds him in his side. And of course, this same word, Jesus was wounded in his side. Um, um, all those who come from Adam naturally will be like Adam. And then all those who supernaturally come uh, from Christ, you know, what is it, Hebrews 2, behold, I and the children you've given me, quoting, uh, I, um, what is it, Isaiah 8, there's a connection. And so um, I, I wonder how many different ways uh, do you think you can connect the stories uh, uh, linguistically, conceptually, um, be interested, uh, maybe make a comment uh, below. Um, hope uh, this helps you and I look forward to talking to you again soon.